the weather outside and the overall lightning is pretty dim and grim, which I think is appropriate for the news today. So it's Saturday, which means that we should get started with the new episode of the K-Pop Blast. What is going on everybody? My name is Nick from MWK Pop and I want to welcome you back for another episode of the K-Pop Blast. Of course, Saturday means it is time to talk about some important news, some of the big news stories that came out in the last couple of days. So number one, we're going to be talking about the uh, incident, the reported incident of assault that happened uh, earlier in the week between some uh, the member of, I guess, JTune Camp, someone who runs the, the show over there, and M, M Black, a member there. We've also got uh, Siwon of Super Junior being controversial, controversial on Twitter, which just recently happened. And then we're going to lighten up the mood a little bit and we're going to talk about Icon and some really exciting stuff there. So we got three stories. Hopefully it won't take too long. So let's get into it. The first story, the first depressing story of the week we've got two is we're going to lead it with the report that a J Tune Camp executive has assaulted in black member Sung Ho while they were out drinking in, I don't specifically know where they were at, but it was late, they were drinking, and I guess the police, he, Sung Ho himself, called the police and reported that he had been assaulted by this gentleman, and initially, of course, the guy denied it, and then he's, he admitted, you know what, I just slapped him once because he was being rude while drinking. Apparently, he was not practicing good manners, and so he decided he was going to get physically you know, abusive and all that stuff. And, you know, I'm me personally, I don't really like jumping on people until we know exactly what is going on here. And uh, based off of the, what I know as of the last time I looked at this story, um, all that we know is that it happened probably around three in the morning, whatever day it was, they were drinking. So you can assume that they were probably a little drunk, if not very drunk, because it's quite late at night. And I believe that the subways and public transportation in the Seoul are about shut down at that point. And um, the, the manager has only really admitted to slapping him once. And, you know, in and of itself, you know, you shouldn't be just slapping people, you shouldn't be hitting people, you shouldn't be putting your hands on them unless they, like, kind of allow you and you don't, you have that relationship with them, which I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that the, the executive and Sung Ho do not have that sort of relationship where it's okay for them to be touching in any sort of way. Whether that's, you know, friendly aggressive or like aggressive aggressive, it's not really acceptable. So, you know, it seems like it's not really, as far as the details that we've got now, it seems like it's not really quite that bad as far as like it was any sort of malicious thing. Like he hates him and it's, you know, a case of the you know that k-pop the physical abuse that you hear about that happens often with uh between you know management and people who are running and handling k-pop groups and the members of the groups themselves it's not really that sort of thing i don't think but who knows exactly i do have to say that i'm pretty sure that alcohol played a pretty big big role in this event happening but the big thing though is that considering that sungho himself has uh called the police or notified the police of what happened that uh you know, he didn't appreciate it very much, and he actually probably was pretty hurt by the whole thing. So, who knows? The police are investigating. More details, I'm sure, will come out. Um, although, maybe, possibly, the police might cover it up. The company might do something with the police to cover it up. Although, considering that JTune Camp don't really have much power in the music industry, who knows exactly what they'll be able to do. But, uh, you know, from what I've seen and heard, and stuff in the few years I've been watching K-pop and following stuff that goes on in Korea, the police are kind of pushovers and they'll do whatever you want. So J2 Camp, they might get this covered up. They might, you know, make it seem like it was just a misunderstanding, you know, a misunderstanding. But uh, who knows exactly? Hopefully, hopefully it wasn't as bad as ever as, you know, of course, all of the news outlets that reported it with their kick clickbait articles uh, reported but it looks like it could actually be something quite significant. So hopefully he's okay. Hopefully the the exec the J Two Camp employee uh, gets punished um, like he should, and you know basically justice, I guess you can say, is is given within the framework of the law. So 
if we find out any more details, if there's anything else, any, any further developments, then I'll probably keep you guys updated and we'll talk a little bit more about this on Wednesday and where it's going because I know that, that, is, that this is an interesting story for me and I know that you guys are probably interested in it as well. The second kind of depressing and I guess slightly angering um, story that just broke a little while ago is that Siwon or Siwon, I don't know how to say, is it C or she, whatever, from Super Junior, um, apparently he is a pretty strong Catholic or Christian or something like one of those. He's, he's a Christian. I don't know what denomination specifically, but apparently he is. And he's retweeted, uh, gone on a spree of retweeting s tweets from John Piper, who's a guy who is religious and he's a pretty big figure in that whole whatever community. Again, I'm not too familiar with all of it with this guy and what he does, but... He retweeted an article by the guy that was showing support for Kim Davis, who sadly for me is the county clerk in my state that, oh, it's fantastic, that's been refusing to grant a marriage license to homosexual couples based on the fact that it goes against her religion and she thinks that she's doing the work of God and she's being persecuted and stuff like that. It's very, very awesome. And generally speaking, not generally speaking, we're gonna say that 90% of the country and all that stuff is, is does not support her for various reasons, whether it's because, whether it's, you know, just basically what it comes down to it is, down to is that 90% of the country doesn't support her because basically she's breaking the law. So, you know, whatever. But this retweet that he, that he did I guess has been seen as, and interpreted probably correctly or something like that as a sh as a sh as a sign of support or an agreement in her stance on the situation and my reaction to that when I saw it was I was like Darth Vader and I was like no that's wrong what are you doing you it's you don't what are you doing man that's bad but then I was like I, I was like you know like, like I say in the Big Lebowski, like, that's your opinion, man. That's like your opinion, man. You know, and like, that's what he thinks. That's cool. You can think I respect your, your, you know, ability and your rights to have your opinions, whether or not I think they're correct or not. But the thing is that as a celebrity, a person who has a big, you know, influence and the words that you say travel really, really far. And they don't just like the people around you and inside your head don't hear what you think. But you, instead, all of that gets spread throughout the, throughout the world on Twitter. And man, you done goofed. Why'd you do that? Like that's, that's some sort of, that's kind of like the stuff that like, it's your, it's, it's your opinion. You can have it. I don't have any problem with that. I don't agree with it, but I'm not going to fight you about it. You know, no matter who you are. But for a celebrity, you should know or have a general idea that that's not really a situation or an opinion that you should be, or you know, a, a, a conflict, I guess you can say, that you should be voicing a public opinion about. You should just keep that to yourself. Just nobody, just pretend nobody cares about what you say and what you have to say is uninteresting, boring, and boring, and shh, don't share it because of course, there's been some backlash to this. People don't really appreciate it. And of course, he's, I guess, I think that it's been unretweeted, which you can do that and it's really, really easy. But the fact is that when stuff on the internet happens and then people are like, whoa, that's crazy. Then they screenshot it and then it's just saved forever. So you can't take it back, honestly. Once it happened and somebody's like, whoa, shit, whoa, that's crazy. What are you doing? And then they screenshotted it well it's been saved and either even though it's not publicly publicly displayed on his twitter feed anymore it's still out there in the on the internet the proof is still there we know that he retweeted it which is generally speaking a, sh a, a show of support or agreement or something like that and a desire i guess you can say to spread the word and to spread that thought around and you know i don't i don't agree with that that's not cool and he definitely, you know, even if whether you do or do, whether you do or don't support that idea or, you know, his thinking 
where those people's thinking on the whole situation, you do have to know and admit that as him and a popular figure of celebrity, he shouldn't really be putting out an opinion on something like that. Although, to be fair, he probably isn't quite aware of the social situation and how just absolutely bitter the fight is between you know the, the two sides here and how many people get offended about this because again different cultures different countries you know they've got different views on you know homosexuality and same-sex couples whereas people in the united states obviously are very open to that or the majority of people in the united states are more open to that than i would assume people in korea are so I mean, you do have to take that into account, but then again, you know, just being like, if, you ha if you're gonna have opinions on stuff and things, as a celebrity, like, you really should just keep your opinions to yourself, to be completely honest, because they're more likely to get you in trouble than to do any good for you. So, there you go. He made a mistake. Shouldn't have done that. His opinions, his opinion, um, whether you agree or you disagree with what he, he, he thinks, or anything like that um, you have to respect the fact that he has an opinion he's allowed to have it but you have to see that or I mean I would say that you know with his his position and his his celebrity status that he definitely should not have posted that or done anything on that so those are my thoughts on that so it's not really disappointing but it is a uh, you know a seat as a bit of a, uh, as a PR goof from him and who knows what the fallout is going to be from this since it basically just happened in the last uh, 24 hours or so. But we'll see. It'll be interesting. Hopefully everyone like gets over it re relatively quickly because it's not really that bad of a thing, honestly. Because, you know, opinions are opinions. And, you know, they d opinions don't hurt people, I think. Words kind of do. And as long as he's not going out and like tweeting bad things as like you know words you know then i think i'm okay with that although maybe his thought, his, you know just basically whatever it comes down to is like his thoughts are his thoughts he can have his thoughts and whatever who cares agree to disagree and move on so with those two really depressing and depending on the way that you look at it upsetting news stories we're going to end it off on a high note so with icon set to debut very very soon we have just gotten news that icon has filmed five music videos for their upcoming debut and i don't know if you realize this but that's like big bang levels of promotion possibly because big bang released i think they i believe they released five total music videos yes five total music videos M was two, A was two, D was one, and then E was another two. Actually, that's seven, isn't it? Whatever, my math is bad. I don't know how to do math. But Big Bang and YG just had the most insane promotions that K-pop has ever seen. And it's looking like YG is about to do the same thing with Icon, only to give us the most insane and crazy debut for any group in K-pop in history and in the future five music videos five potential you know title tracks or you know songs that they're going to promote for their new for their debut it's gonna be bananas it will be crazy i guarantee it and yg apparently means business this year 2015 is the year of yg because you know I don't, I don't, I cannot comprehend. But the way that we're, the way that we're seeing, right? So if, if it, if Icon actually does have five music videos, then you've got Big Bang who just had a bunch of music videos. You've got Icon who's doing it. So who's next? Who's coming up next? We've got um, Psy apparently is going to be making a comeback before the end of the year. So does that mean that we're going to, he's going to have five music videos too? That'd be kind of cool. Um, winner is supposed to be coming before we die so they might have some in insane something or other which may be which may honestly be why all of, all of this has been has been delayed think about it. think about it yg has been saying that icon and winner aren't going to make comebacks until they find the final two percent in their songwriting and production 
And maybe that is all just a front and a facade for the fact that they have been struck by countless delays on getting their music videos out or filming five music videos is very, very is time consuming. Filming, editing, doing all this other stuff to get those ready to go is time consuming. So, you know, maybe they've been set back constantly for the last year. So Icon hasn't been able to, you know, finally get released on time. And who knows? It's interesting to think about, right? Because a little, a little delay here and a little delay there could have some very, very huge, you know, negative side effects on the scheduling in general. So it really, it is possible that this has been the plan the entire time. And it was supposed to be when Big Bang was promoting, maybe possibly that these groups were going to be having the same intense promotions at the same time Big Bang was happening and Big Bang and YG Entertainment was going to kill all of us with their promotions and the thought just the thought is crazy who knows exactly if my thought and you know whatever is actually going to happen who do we don't know whether or not yg is actually icon actually has five music videos for us to watch and enjoy um who knows specifically and even if they do have five music videos whether or not they're five different versions of the same song or they're five music videos for five separate songs we don't know that specifically either but it definitely is looking to be very very interesting and like they're gonna have an epic debut which again i think that the, with them being delayed for the year is kind of something that i guess you know icon fans deserve because icon has been icon and winner have been the most hyped k-pop debuts that I can remember ever, you know, ex seeing or experiencing in the last three years that I've been, you know, following K-pop. So, I mean, it's really, it's, it's awesome to see, I guess you get that, I, I guess that I, you know, YG is taking this really, really seriously. And he, and that, I mean, this is, it's gonna be crazy. So brace yourselves, Icon is coming and they're gonna melt your face. So. There you go, that's the news. It's really depressing, but then again, we ended with some really good news because Icon is back, or is not back, they're making their debut finally with uh, potentially five different music videos, which is exciting, it's super exciting. So that's the news for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, come back on Wednesday morning for more K-pop news. It's a really exciting thing, I love doing this. So I wanna know your thoughts and comments on any of the news stories put them down in the comment box below because that's why it's there also follow me on social media I got twitter instagram and a bunch of others there's links to those down in the description box below click that give me a follow on every single one that you possibly can i would really appreciate it so that is going to be it for this video as always i want to thank you for watching i'll see you all next time goodbye